In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix all the crashes in gray zone and increase your frame rates. In my last video, I mentioned that you got to go to your graphics settings and set uh, this to TSR. This does work. So if you're still crashing even after this, go to TSR. It's the safe bet. You will get about 60 to 65 FPS. And if you got a G-Sync monitor, turn that on and have V-Sync on and you'll notice very, very smooth gameplay. But regardless, even if you don't have that stuff, just put TSR, you won't crash. You'll have 60 to 65 FPS. However, there has been some patches since my last video on how to fix the crashes and everything. And in this video, you're going to figure out how to do that and DLSS is a really good one to use. It doesn't matter if you have quality, balance, or performance on, you can play with these to your heart's content, it really doesn't matter, but DLSS is going to work really well. Not only that, you can also play with these settings as much as you guys like. I just like these settings, so I'm gonna go with it. But the key to make sure that DLSS works, where you're gonna get about 10 to 30 FPS more, is you need to go to your desktop, go to GeForce Experience, and make sure that you guys get the latest driver it's 552.44 there's been a lot of uh, people using this one and it just came out it fixes a lot of issues there's another trick you can do here let me get this out of the way so you guys can see there's another trick you can do on top of this you can just go to your control panel after you guys have got it installed express install works you don't have to do a clean install if you want to you can copy these settings if you go to the manage 3d settings under your nvidia control panel but if you scroll all the way down and you're gonna go look for shader cache, which is here, shader cache size. I have it set to unlimited. You can set it to 10 or whatever you decide, but 10 to unlimited is usually the best. If you guys want, you can also take these settings too, these global settings, these work really well for all games. Uh, and remember, I've got a G-Sync monitor, so having V-Sync on works to help reduce latency and just keep the game looking smooth. If you don't have that, not a problem. You can also turn V-Sync off and you'll be fine. But these settings work really well for games. Ultimately, having the shader cache size to unlimited and downloading the latest driver, which we mentioned, with the GeForce experience should give you more frames and you can run the LSS. If that all doesn't work, as I said, we're gonna go back to the game and just go to TSR. That's your best bet to make sure the game doesn't crash. But again, you're only gonna get about 60 to 65 FPS. If this video helped you, please drop a like and let me know in the comments so other people can benefit from it. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.